The Five Smartest Lottery Winners 5. Colin and Christine Weir gave to their community and children in need While known to splurge every now and then, this Scottish couple has given large amounts over the years to causes that moved them. Since winning about $250 million in 2011, the two have made notable donations to a little girl with cerebral palsy, a promising young artist, and a child in need of a prosthetic limb. They also gave their house to their neighbor, who was a teen mother, and contributed countless dollars to fund causes in their community through the Weir Charitable Trust. 4. Alan and Violet Large – What You Never Had, You Never Miss In 2010, Canadian couple Alan and Violet Large won an $11.2 million lotto prize. Violet Large was enduring treatments for cancer, and the couple decided to give away most of their fortunes of family, friends, hospitals, churches, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and even their local fire department. Their logic was simple. What you never had, you never miss, Violet said. They truly proved that the real prize of life has nothing to do with money. That money that we won was nothing, Alan said. We have each other. 3. Les Robbins founded a day camp for children When Les Robbins won the $111 million jackpot in 1993, it was the highest Powerball jackpot to date. It's likely that his background as a middle school teacher inspired Robbins to use a large portion of his winnings to build a day camp for children. Camp Winnegator is still a successful camp over 20 years later. 2. Jim Dancy – Every Little Bit Counts Compared to some other jackpots, Jim Dancy's $10,000 prize from 2009 seems positively paltry. But 10 grand is big money to most. And after talking to friends, the Michigan man decided to donate the whole thing to the Kalamazoo United Way. The president of the KUW called the donation an act of incredible kindness and generosity. And Dancy said he felt good about his decision. I know the needs in the community are great right now, so for me it was the right thing to do, he said. 1. Jim and Carolyn McCullough planned for future generations. In 2011, Jim and Carolyn McCullough from a small town in Washington state won half of a $380 million prize in the Mega Millions Lottery. The couple who claimed their part of the second largest jackpot in US history at the time took the win in stride. Instead of blowing the money all at once or planning extravagant trips around the world, the McCulloughs said they planned on using the money to give future generations of their family comfortable lives. I wonder if they would adopt me. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.